All right, this is uh, Prince DJ, and this is another edition of Opinion Matters, and this is the uh, fifth episode in the uh, the segment. Uh, I got a couple of things for Opinion Matters five. Uh, one will be what happened at the uh, uh, at the uh, high school in Georgia. And then another is going to be my announcement, but because of the fact that I don't have anything to eat and I'm stuck without food. I can't even get to the dag on food pantry or even uh, a soup kitchen. And then another thing, Taylor Swift got me, made me have her fall in love again. I'm sorry, Ted Travis K, but she's the one that was wearing that uh that uh gorgeous outfit that she was wearing at the game. But anyway, uh, but the, oh oh, and another thing, they had uh they had delayed Trump sentencing from September eight, uh eighteen to November twenty sixth. Dude, that's not only right after my birthday, but also right I think it's either before or after Thanksgiving. That's right around Thanksgiving time. Anyway, let's just get on to uh, let's just get on to the uh, opinion matters, okay? And again, this is opinion and, and also opinion and rant, so that's why I call them opinion matter. Uh, by the way, before we get to opinion matters, we need some likes on our videos to spread the videos and the podcast around. Don't forget to destroy the like button. Okay, don't forget to do that. And if you're not a citizen of Big D country, then what are you doing? Thank you, Stormy, for that. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Now, first thing first, they have decided, for some reason or another. To wait to sentence Trump until, number one, after the election, and number two, right in the middle of a freaking holiday. Like, dude, who does that? Who does a sentencing right in the, right in the middle of a holiday? Okay? You got families being, being want to be around each other for, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all the other holidays. And then... You got to put Trump right back in the court to see what his sentencing would be like. And then, who would have thought that once, once Trump win, his transpositioning either could be from jail or could run the, run the, uh, the country from jail? I mean, they already talked about having this Secret Service, uh, Secret Service detail with him. I mean, this, how is this going to happen? How is this going to what kind of we live in that what kind of country do we live in that we could be experiencing a president, a possible president that could be running the country from prison or jail? Wow. Well then again, there there's been a uh, prison that people do uh businesses from outside, uh from in prison, so who know? I don't know. Wow. But it's gonna be interesting to say the least. All right, the next one. Can we please get into a year or more or century without having a school shooting? I mean, there was Parkland, there's Columbine, and I'm pretty sure that there was other high school shooting. But the bullying has got to stop, okay? The bullying has got to stop, all right? There was, there was four people killed. There was two students and, and two teachers. And get this. The shooter was 14. The shooter was 14. And now he had to throw his life away because he had to go to school to shoot his brain. And uh, it's ridiculous. We probably have, might have another death penalty because of the four that was killed. So, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable that that happened. Now, I remember when I was doing a show for Canada, and this was when I was in Spreaker. I was doing a show for Canada, and the boss of the show wanted me to cover that Canada 
was getting ready to impose stricter laws for bullying on the internet. Okay. Not only if that were to come here, and only if those laws were to affect bullying in school, because that has to stop. Bullying in schools, it has to stop. We don't need to lose any more lives because of bullying. I mean, it's just ridiculous, and it's just terrible. Terrible. Unbelievable. Anyway. Okay. Now... Before we get to the main story, the tell, I, mean, I decided to make the tell of story the last one. But before we get to her, um, I have an announcement to make about the uh, a few days that I'm waiting. Uh, the announcement is, I don't have no food. And I can't get anybody to help me get food. So, I don't know how the aftermath of week one is going to be of the NFL pickup. And I still had to, I still had to do assignment work in school. Yes. Even without food, if I can make it without going to the hospital. Okay. So I got to wait between now because I just eat, I ate my last pop tarts earlier. Uh, no, not pop tarts, hot pockets earlier. And it's going to be until the 14th until I get some food. And it better not be raining there because I, I, I'm still in the middle of paying my deposit. The rent, okay, the rent was six fifty a month. That's my regular rent. But I had to pay 800 you know, six fifty plus the 800 uh, for the entire deposit. I mean, it's ridiculous. I know, yeah, I know I'll get it back uh, once I get the, uh, you know, everything good and everything like that. Uh, if I do decide to move out, but the problem is, I had to put in the deposit. Now, thankfully, because I couldn't put in the whole thing, the landlord uh, was willing to help me, so I could pay in parts because I was able to pay seven fifty, I believe. Yeah, I, I did pay seven fifty, and then now I only have to pay seven seven hundred, and then. And then after I paid the seven hundred for the next coming month, then all I had to do is the uh, the uh, the uh, six uh, six fifty my regular rent. And then I got to start being able to save to go back home to pond fair. Yeah, so either I stay at the woods wood uh, the wood Windwood little suites the the extended stay hotel there uh, for the time I go to pond fest. And I have to find, I have to wind up commuting, or I'm trying to see if I can stay at the Renaissance, which is the host hotel, trying to, if I could prepay. And then I do have the uh, American Airlines, oh my God, American Airlines, small shot, United Airlines. I still have uh, some points for United Airlines from when I went to my friend's home going way right back in 2011. No, 2001, I uh no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's like uh, it was around COVID, so it was like 20, 2001 or something like that. But I'm sorry, because it was the same time that I had COVID when I came back from the funeral because of the crowded airport in Washington. Uh, whoever gets a crowded airport in Washington D.C. gave me COVID. But anyway, anyway. Uh, anyway, so. I wouldn't know how in the world that uh, I'm going to do a very good uh, aftermath because I might want to be funny. You know, I might want to do some jokes. But without food, I don't know. And then I got to wait till Tuesday because normally I like to do the games. Uh, I like to do the next week's games on a Wednesday. All right. And then I like to do the aftermath on Tuesday. That's my normal schedule. That's my normal schedule. Alright. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, let's get to Taylor Swift. So, uh, speaking of um, uh, the NFL pickup in the aftermath. Taylor Swift. I have a question for you. What in the hell were you thinking of wearing that beautiful outfit? And, and then... Oh, you know it's going to fall for you, right? 
you knew that I was going to fall for you. But you already dated Tavis Kelsey. And you wore a sexy outfit like that? Really? Really? Why? My question is, why? Okay, if you're going to wear that sexy outfit, why couldn't you wear a normal Chiefs uniform? Not Chiefs uniform. But why couldn't you wear normal Chiefs gear under, uh, above the outfit? Okay. Or you could wear T Travis K number. All right. You could have done that. But to wear a beautiful outfit like that? Are you nuts? I mean, oh my God. You just made me fell in love with you all over again. You already made me fall in love with you because of two songs, uh, because of Love Story, and I, for I forgot the other star uh, song. But anyway, it was definitely Love Story. But anyway, but still, come on. You're already getting ready to marry, or you're already married to, or I don't know, whether you're engaged, you're unofficially engaged, or whether you're already married. I don't even know what, who the hell you are anymore. You could be already married by now. Probably could have already had the wedding. I don't know. I don't know. But the matter is this. You know there are some men that still have crushes on you. You know that. You know that. And then you had to have wear a, a beautiful outfit like that when everybody's trying to watch a football game and at the beginning of the damn season? You don't do that. You don't do that. Come on now. It's supposed to be about football. It's not supposed to be about Taylor Swift. I mean, Patrick Mahone doesn't get this much. Uh, uh, Patrick Mahone and his wife doesn't get this much uh, coverage, except for whatever they talk about Taylor Swift. Like, for example, when uh, when Patrick Mahone was saying that uh, Taylor Swift made plays for Travis Kelsey. I mean, really? Really? Honestly. Honestly. Come on now. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, that's all I gotta say. If I if I ever find some story that I could talk about and then have opinions on, I will do that on Opinion Matters. We're definitely making a series of this. So I hope you enjoyed Opinion Matters. Uh, and you can leave what, what your own thoughts about the story that I just shared. On the comments, where down below? Oh, you already know. I probably try, probably try to see if I can make this, uh, um, you know, make this audience participation and only to the comments of the topic that I that I talked about. Like say, for example, the Taylor Swift, uh, the uh, the uh, you know, the Trump delay in the uh, in the sentencing, uh, and um. Yeah, and and the uh, and the shooting in Georgia, like only commented on those uh, those sessions because I have mental health issues and yeah, that's all. I'm, I'm having I'm, I'm laying ground rules anyway. I mean, yeah, you can speak your mind, but you know, I don't need terrible comments and stuff like that. But you know, because I had to I had to go through another uh, nine year anniversary of uh, another anniversary of my late wife, so I had to go through that though. But anyway, so this is the Opinion Matters uh, 5, and uh, look forward to more. And then also stay, uh, stay tuned later on uh, next week for the uh, aftermath of NFL Pickup Week 1, the 2024 season. I'm Prince DJ. Peace.